let's go hi welcome to web mathematics in this video we want to solve for x plus y in 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by y equals 1 divided by 15 so let's say solution so we have 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by y equals 1 divided by 13. So from here, we can multiply both sides by x, y. Multiply. Both sides. By x, y. So we'll have uh, x, y multiply by 1 over x plus 1 over y right so and for this side we have x y multiply by 1 divided by 13. so from here we use this to expand this bracket we have x y times 1 so we have uh, x y divided by x and x y times 1 over y we have x y times 1 we have plus x y divided by y so and this we have x y times one we have x y divided by 13 so if you look here you can see that uh, this x we cancel this x and this y we cancel this y so we will have uh, y plus x equals x y divided by 13 so again we multiply both sides by 13 to cancel this 13 multiply both sides by 13 so if you do by 13 we will have uh, 13 times y plus x equals then we have 13 multiplied by x y divided by 13 so from here you know this 13 we cancel this 13 right so we will have 13 times y, we have 13y plus 13 times x, we have 13x. So equals, what is left here, we have xy. So from here, we have uh, xy. So if we transfer 13y and xy here, will be minus 13y, then minus 13x. We can equate this to be zero if this is equals zero we can express um, this to be x y minus 13 y then minus 13 x we have we can have plus 169 minus 169 because uh, you know this can give us zero so but for the sake of uh, what we are doing that's why we do it like that so we have uh, it becomes x y minus 13 y like this then we can factorize minus out here we have what we left here 13 x then this will become minus 169 so this particular 69 can be transferred to the other side so we have 169 so from here we can factorize y out here so we have y what is the left here we have x minus 13 minus what is common here 13 is common so we have x minus 13 equals 169 so we have uh, we have x minus 3 here or x minus 13 here x minus 13 here so we have uh, x minus 13 about one of our factor then another factor is y minus 13 and that is equals 169 if you look at this 169 we can have 69 we have a factor of one the first the first case is one times 69 right so another factor is oh sorry one times 69 169 times one and the third case we can have is 13 times 13 so from here well, let's go back here so we can have uh, the first case that is 
okay it's one we have x minus 13 and uh, y minus 13 equals let's say the first case is 1 times 69 right so we will have uh, x minus 13 equals 1 so which is which will give us x equals 1 plus 13 and we have uh, x equals 14. that's the first and the second we y minus 13 equals 69 so let's do that too we have also we have y minus 13 equals 69 so here we have y equals 69 plus 13 and uh, here we have y to be equals 182 so here we have in summary we have x equals six, equals 14 and uh, y equals 182 but don't forget we have to find the uh, x plus y right so now we have our x plus y will be equals what's our x is 14 plus what's our y 182 so if we had this we have x plus y equals 196 yes so that's the first that's the first case so which is uh when we have uh, 1 times 69 as the factor of 69 so but uh, for case 2 case 2 we can we have we said we have 169 times 1 right so we have x minus 13 then y minus 13 equals 169 times 1 so this means that this equals 69 so we have uh, x minus 13 equals 169 and uh, we have y minus 13 equals 1 so we have x equals 169 plus 13 and for here we have y equals 1 plus 13 this way you have x equals 169 plus 13 that is 182 and for here we have y equals 1 plus 13 and that is 14. so for the sum of x and y here x plus y will become what's our x we have 182 plus what's our y so that is 14. so if we had them we are going to have x plus y 182 plus 14 and that will give us 196. Oh. that was the for the second second case for the third case case three so where we have uh, the factor of 169 as 13 times 13 we will have x sorry so as x minus 13 then y minus 13 so we have the factor of 13 times 13 so we will have uh, x minus 13 equals 13 and we also have y minus 13 equals 13. So here we have x equals, if we collect the light and we have 13, we transfer this here, we have 13 plus 13. And for this, we have y equals 13 plus 13. So we have x equals 13 plus 13 will give us 26, right? So, and here we have y equals 13 plus 13 will give us 26. But let's remember we have to find the sum of x and y. So, we have x plus y equals what's our x? 26 plus what's our y? 26. We have x plus y equals 52. Yes. We can now declare that uh, these are the sum of x and y we have. For the first case, we have x plus y equals 196 for the second case we have x plus y equals 196 and uh, for the third case we have x plus y equals 52. wow thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video kindly like and leave a comment and don't forget to share with your friends and network do well to also subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my next video bye